Hey everyone, Dan Lippert back with another video in my Blockchain Basics series where I teach you everything you need to know to become a blockchain developer. Today I'm going to tell you about the Gnosis multi-signature wallet. Now Gnosis is a company that's produced a prediction market type software, but they've also produced this great Ethereum multi-signature wallet. Now why would you want to use a piece of software like this? Well say you're doing an ICO and you have all these different people working on it and you don't want to let one person be responsible for holding the private key to access all your funds. Using the Gnosis multi-signature wallet, you can ensure that multiple people within your organization have to sign off in order to withdraw the funds. So that way that one person can't be kidnapped, they can't scam the rest of you, they can't have their private keys, they wrote that on a piece of paper, burned down in a fire, or anything like that. Um, so it's just a really great precaution to take when you're dealing with a lot of Ethereum. Uh, a lot of Ethereum funds or a lot of Ether. So let's check it out. All right, so let's check out the Gnosis Multisig wallet. You're gonna to wanna to go to wallet.gnosis.pm. That's .pm and Gnosis is G-N-O-S-I-S. -O -O and you should see a screen like this. Now, first of all, I'm gonna say something really quick. Gnosis Multisig wallet, it has a desktop version as well, and you're probably gonna to wanna to use the desktop version for anything serious. The reason being is doing Ethereum stuff in your browser can be a little bit dangerous, especially if you have plugins installed, because um, you never know what those plugins are really gonna do, and we tend to grant them all kinds of permissions because we use them to do cool stuff, right? So if you have any plugins that have the ability to like read and rewrite and change things that are happening in your browser, you know, it could change um, the destination address for a transaction you're sending. And if you're not careful, you might accidentally sign that. So you do have to be careful, but they do offer a desktop version that you can use. I'm just gonna use the browser-based version with MetaMask today for convenience, but if you're doing something serious, make sure to use the desktop version. So for th first things first, we're gonna start by adding a new wallet. So um, by the way, I'm on the Robston network here, so I'm not spending any actual Ethereum. So you can play around with Robston Ethereum. Robston is an Ethereum test net um, where they give away free Ether. Um, so you can play around with stuff and get used to stuff and practice before you actually spend your real Ether. So anyway, let's go ahead and add a wallet. We're going to create a new wallet. We're going to call it the YouTube Test Multisig Wallet. Now the required confirmations. What this means is how many different keys do you need to sign off on a withdrawal or to sign off on a transaction or um, any kind of Ethereum based action, uh, contract call, etc. So I'm gonna set this to two. So it's gonna require two people to sign off on every action that I take here. The next line here, daily limit. What this is saying is how much ether are you gonna allow people to withdraw from this wallet without going through all the confirmations. So if you set this to one, that means any person who's an owner of this wallet will be able to withdraw one ether a day. Typically, you're gonna to wanna to set this to zero. Zero is the safest and it requires uh, everyone to sign off on all withdrawals, um, or at least the amount of people you've set the required confirmations to. And then under owners, here you can see we've got my account, um, but I'm also going to add Another account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into MetaMask here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new private key uh, over here. Create account. I'm gonna call this Gnosis Multisig2. I'm gonna go ahead and create that. It's created. I'm gonna copy the address to the clipboard. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it back into the Gnosis multi-sig wallet. I'm gonna call this account two. I'll click add. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is go switch back to my original account. Uh, so there's no funkiness and it's the account that actually has ether so that I can go ahead and deploy the contract. Uh, whoops. So in doing that, Gnosis just uh, closed out my <laughs> what I was working on, so I'm gonna just set this up again real quick. Like I said, two confirmations, account two. All right, click add. 
then we're going to deploy the factory. And what the factory is talking about is there's some customization you can do with the, with the wallet and you could set the factory and the settings, but we're just going to go with the default one for right now. Default one is great because it's been audited. So, and that's asking us for the gas limit for our gas price and it's going to show us the transaction fees. You could tweak this, you know, we're on Robson right now. It doesn't matter, but you can tweak it if you want to try to save some money. And nothing bad happens if you set it to low. I don't think it will just reject the transaction and will never get mined. I guess those are bad things. Um, so you can check out the uh, Ether gas station if you want to have better information on what gas prices you should be spending. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and send that transaction. We can see here MetaMask is asking us to go ahead and sign it. And so I'll confirm. And we can see here that our transaction has been submitted and we'll just wait a moment here for it to get mined. And once it does get mined, it should show up here in the Gnosis multi-sig wallet as a wallet. Oh, there it is. So we've got our test YouTube wallet all set up. It's got its own address over here, as you can see. It's got a balance of zero ether because we just set it up. It requires two confirmations and it's got a daily limit of zero ether and we haven't spent any of that because we don't, we didn't give it a daily limit whatsoever. So first thing we're gonna do to test this is we're gonna go ahead and deposit some ether. Go ahead and deposit 0 0.2 ether. And once again, we'll go over to MetaMask to sign the transaction. Click confirm and the transaction has been submitted. So now we're gonna get into why you've probably watched this video in the first place, which is how do I do the multi-signature bit? So we're gonna go ahead and try to withdraw that ether back out um, and we're gonna have to sign it multiple times, both with the account I'm currently using, the account that I created the wallet with, and also the secondary account that I created for today's exercise. Once I sign it with both accounts, we'll be able to go ahead and um, withdraw the ether. So we can see, still waiting for this to get mined. It's been submitted. What we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to sign into the second account and re-add, um, oh boy, should have increased the gas price. Re-add the wallet that we created under our second account's um, Gnosis interface. Come on. <laughs> All right, there we go. So whenever you whine, that always makes your transactions go through. So we can see here we've got 0.2 ether. Um, now I'm going to go into my secondary account and I'm going to import this wallet. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to want to copy the wallet's address. So I'm going to go ahead and click copy there. Then I'm going to go into MetaMask and sign into my new account. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. You've got to click the little orb. And there we go. Okay, so I'm in my secondary account. I'm just gonna go ahead and reload the page here. Go ahead and start a new session. Is that a thing? Okay, that works. Thanks, Brave. So I think it's using some cookies or something like that to, to store your wallet information client side. But I've created a new session tab or whatever it was called here in Brave. So this, just consider this would be like a second user, right? Or if you're watching this and someone says, hey, I need you to sign off on these transactions. Here's the information, here's the wallet address. Go ahead and, and sign off on this. Just follow these instructions. So we've got our fresh instance of Gnosis Wallet over here. By the way, here's our old instance. And I'm gonna add a wallet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore the deployed wallet, the wallet that I just created. It's our YouTube test wallet. And it has the address that I posted previously. So first thing it's gonna do, you're gonna see um, this message pop up. This is actually an incorrect error message. So just wait a moment while it loads. Now that it's loaded, we see the same information. We've got that 0.2 balance, the two confirmations, et cetera. 
So remember, this is like a different person. This is a, a different browser session. This is a different user. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to withdraw the ether that the first user deposited into the second user's account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click withdraw. We'll withdraw the point to ether. I'm gonna withdraw it into my account. Is that the right key? It looks to be the right key. And we're gonna send a multi-signature transaction. We do have to pay gas fees, um, but we're gonna go ahead and do that and go into MetaMask and sign off on the transaction. Confirm. Oh, you know what? Because I don't have any ether in this account. Stupid me. Um, so what I'll actually do is I'll go ahead and um, use the first account to withdraw the ether. Whoops. Okay, so back to our initial session. And back to our first account. I'm gonna click withdraw. I'm gonna withdraw, point to ether. I'm gonna send it to the second account I created. I'm gonna send the multi-signature transaction. It's gonna pop over here. I'm gonna click confirm and it's gonna work this time. There we go. Signed, submitted, and we'll just wait for that to be confirmed. Now what's gonna happen is, because I sent this from my first account, it's actually not going to withdraw the ether yet. It's going to wait in the multi-sig transaction list here in the Gnosis wallet for the secondary account to sign off on this withdrawal. And I'll show you how to find that just in a moment here while I wait for it to be confirmed. Always remember to have ether in your accounts that you're gonna use for signing because if you don't, you're not gonna actually be able to do anything. So make sure you have some, some ether or some test ether, uh, practice on Robston, and uh, you can find all kinds of what they call faucets, like a sink faucet. You can find all kinds of Robston faucets to get free ether from. All right, so it's been confirmed. And now if I go ahead and click the name of my wallet over here, you can see that it's a link. It'll take me to a detail screen for this wallet. And down here we see an item in the multi-sig transactions table. And it's showing the transactions ID is zero. It's the first transaction we've done. The destination is account two, which is the other owner of this um, wallet. The value is 0.2 ether. And we're transferring 0.2 ether to account two. And the confirmations, my account, has confirmed and you can actually click revoke confirmation if you wanna undo your sign off on this transaction, but we don't wanna do that. I'm gonna go into my second session and I'm gonna go ahead and load up my secondary account here. And I'm gonna make sure, okay, there we go, it's changed. Um, and then we're gonna click the YouTube test wallet. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna be able to, I'm not actually gonna be able to confirm this because I don't have any ether. So real quick, I'm just gonna send my secondary account some ether the old fashioned way. All right, confirmed. <laughs> All right, back to my secondary account here. And we'll finish this video up. We can see I now have 0.25 ether and that is going to be enough to go ahead and confirm. So now that my account here is switched to that secondary account, here in the multi-sig transaction table, we see the transaction that was initiated by the first account. And here we see confirmations owner one, and I'm going to add my confirmation on the secondary account, and then the transaction should go through. So we'll click send transaction, and then we'll go over to MetaMask and click confirm. So what's going to happen, it's gonna withdraw that 0.2 ether into my secondary account here. And so we see the confirmation has been submitted. And once it's confirmed, we should see that 0.2 ether get added to the account and here it is. So you can see we, we kind of used point uh, we deposited a 0.2 ether, and then I had to transfer that 0.25 ether over to the secondary account. Um, and we left out with 
5308 ether. So, you know, using a multi-signature wallet does take some gas, but you know, it's actually not that much. It's actually not that much. So um, this is actually a pretty good tool to use. All right, so that's pretty much it for the Gnosis wallet. There are some other features um, in here. So if you'd like me to discuss those or go through those, leave a comment down below and I can definitely answer any questions you have or make another video on some of the other features of the wallet. But um, I think that's it for now. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give me a like and a subscribe. That will help other people like you to be able to find this video and get the information they need. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.